Hello, Mr. Gigabytes here, and today we're going to be redoing the C64 Mini joystick switch upgrade. Now, if you'll recall in our last episode, uh, there were several factors that uh, prevented us from doing a successful joystick upgrade. This time around, we've got the correct joystick switches. We've got uh, the proper technique, and uh, spoiler alert, uh, this time it's going to work. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this first slide here. Um, and this gives you a little better view of, of the actual switch that we're using. Uh, and this is after, basically, I tucked the... Um, tuck the legs up underneath the switch and so that it basically gives us two rails now it doesn't have to be perfect and clearly this one isn't but um, what it does in effect is uh, it just gives us two flat rails the the switch will sit nice and flush it won't be it also will not be too tall because if you try to stick it uh, stick it with the legs up uh, as you're mashing the buttons, the legs will buckle and the button will be too tall anyway. So uh, I bend the legs up underneath. We create a couple of rails, hopefully get a couple of contact points. Don't smush it so far down that you uh, you can't get underneath it and make some you know adjustments with the uh, with either a paper clip or uh, I've got a uh, I've got a little uh, uh, poking tool. Uh, for a uh, reaming tool for for soldering that worked quite nicely to bring those legs out and kind of adjust them as I needed them. But uh, essentially, uh, the, you see the green lines on the uh, on the picture there. That's that's what we're trying to create. And so, uh, if you'll notice on the board, where you'll see how the uh, switch contacts are actually kind of in a zigzag pattern. I mentioned this before, uh, but I didn't get a really good shot of it. Uh, you'll see how the uh, the up and uh, up and down on the joystick circuit board is in a is in a uh, uh, zigzag pattern, and the zigzag kind of goes uh, horizontally, and all of the other buttons, including the fire buttons, are zigzagged vertically. Basically, it's a uh, uh, the space in between that brown space in between. There's no contact, and so when, whenever one of those uh, silicone plungers goes down, there is a contact underneath, and it makes contact with those uh, with those zigzags on the board, uh, and uh, and that's and that's what uh, closes the circuit, sends the signal to the chip and uh, and the chip sends it down to the C64 Mini. So what we're going to do is we're actually replacing the the silicone pads with switches and in this picture uh, when we when I did it the first time when it almost worked it uh, I I oriented the switch uh, in kind of a, a diamond shape I aligned it with the uh, the the diamond shape of the uh, on on those pads. Uh, it, it turns out it's actually better if you don't do that. So what we've got, uh, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to align the switches uh, in so that they're more square. And uh, and as you can see from the green lines on the screen, that's how the that's how the switches of those rails are going to be oriented, and they're going to go they're going to go across the, uh, the 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 rails that I've created on the bottom of the switch are going to be aligned in, in those directions, and so without further further ado. Let's go ahead and get started building this. Now I've sped this up about 10 times. Uh, this is basically just, it's holding it down, putting a little hot glue on it, 
and then holding it there until it cools off just enough so that it stays in place. You'll want to, uh, you don't want to make a, a huge glob of hot glue. You want to be able to get underneath and adjust the, uh, uh, adjust the rails a little bit uh, at, when it's done because if your placement isn't perfect across those switches, then, or uh, uh, yeah, well, across the contacts on the board, then what happens is the uh, the switches just don't close that connection, and so so you may have to make some minor adjustments or tweaks when everything's all said and done, so that uh, so that it does make contact. And this is actually a simple process. I, I went over it a, uh, in a, a bit in detail on the on the first one, on the first video. And uh, the process is pretty much the same. We're just changing the orientation of the switches so it makes better contact uh, across more of the uh, more of the the contact on the on the board. And basically this, once I had all the switches down, I connected it to the mini uh, and I had to do this a couple of different times. I connected it to the mini, tested it out, made some adjustments to the switch or its contacts or, or what have you. I uh, plugged it back in again, did some more tests. You know, there's a little bit of going on, doing that back and forth, but I gotta tell you, um, out of the the six switches I replaced, really only two of them needed any two or three of them needed any adjustment. Doing this orientation actually helped make better contact with the contacts on the board. As you can see, I've got mo at this point I've got most of the switches working uh, consistently. There was just one switch that wasn't. It was kind of making intermittent contact, so had to had to change that around. Now, of course, if you're going to if you're going to solder these to the board, uh, you'll make a lot better contact. But we, of course, we did this, and I mentioned this the last on the last video. We wanted to use the hot glue because if you can use a hot glue gun, uh, this project is something that you'll be able to do. The silicone buttons just pulled off of the board, just uh, simply carefully, uh, carefully pulling on them. The uh, uh, they're just little posts that go right through the board, and uh, and they just slide. They basically slide right out. At this point, I've got all of the switches adjusted. They're all making good contact and I'm getting ready to put it back together. So of course the circuit board and unfortunately it's uh, I didn't do it on camera here but uh, the circuit boards held in with four small screws and you I'm putting those screws back in making sure that the the main board is seated properly. Uh, then the bottom case actually uh, holds the holds the cable and it also uh, pushes up against the circuit board to give it a little extra durability and now it's all done and uh, it is it's a little loose uh, because the uh, the joystick floats a little more than than in the first video uh, because the the switches are just a hair shorter but actually it ended up with a much better result So I'm going to fire up the mini here and I'm going to go ahead and uh, just try it out with the joystick. Play around with the menu, make sure everything's, everything's going good. 
and we're going to try out Galencia. That's uh, has been the uh, the test uh, test program of choice. Now the last time that that I tried to do this, it uh, I had a I, it was a really bad result. I, I know the uh, um, the joystick was much more stiff than it maybe should have been. The um, uh, the left direction was not always making contact. Was not always making good contact either uh, despite multiple attempts to to rectify that um, but on this uh, it actually uh, it was uh, this this is just I just did the one attempt here and it uh, it was already going it was already feeling very good so. It was behaving uh, uh, very responsibly. The there was only one point where it it hesitated on the left direction, and that could have been for any number of reasons. It could have been simply because uh, it, just a glitch in the game, or or on the mini, or in the emulation. Any number of things could have gone wrong there. But the response was uh, was very good, and on just on this first attempt, I I, I tried uh, three different times to get this far, and it didn't work. Uh, when, when on the original modification, but this time it worked great. It uh, I got as far as I ever I ever had, and I. Uh, and I, it's certainly as far as with the original mini joystick. So, uh, so I would say that uh, this is a this successful test, and uh, that about does it for this uh, joystick upgrade. Uh, I would say go. I, I would encourage anybody to go ahead and do this now that uh, all the bugs are worked out of it, and and. Uh, uh, the switch sizes have been sorted out. Uh, the links will be in the video description. And I thank you for watching.